Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about chi-square test calculation. Already I have posted a video on chi-square test. That is my part 16 video. You can watch in our channel playlist. So this is a continuation of that uh, uh, video. This is my part 17 video. So this chi-square test is taken from uh, uh, B.Sc. Nursing Research and Statistics subject. So this video is also useful for post basic B.Sc. Nursing students as well as students who are doing M.Sc. Nursing. So this comes under Unit 7 that is Introduction to Statistics in Nursing Research. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the chi-square calculation sums. So chi-square test calculation, the theory part if you want, I have given the link in the description box or you can watch in our channel playlist, uh, statistics playlist. Chi-square test for independence. So I have given an example sum. 500 elementary school boys and girls are asked which is their favorite color. Either blue color, green color or pink color. So the results are shown as below as given in this table. So what is your question? 500 elementary school boys and girls are asked which is their favorite color either it is blue green or pink so the results are given below in the below table see boys in blue color it is 100 green it is 150 pink it is 50 girls in blue color it is 20 green color it is 30 and pink is 150 so this is the given data of boys and girls okay so what they have asked in the question, using alpha at 5% level of significance, 5% level of significance means 0 0.05, would you conclude that there is a relationship between gender and favorite color? So using alpha at 5% level of significance, would you conclude that there is a relationship between gender and your favorite color? So this is your question. So, when you want to test the significance, what is your first step? So, in chi-square calculation also, the first step is you have to define null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis. Null hypothesis, H0, for the given population of elementary school students, gender and favorite color are not related. So, that is your uh, null hypothesis. But your research hypothesis or alternative hypothesis for the population of elementary school students, gender and favorite color are related. So in H0 you are telling it is not related. Whereas here you are telling in H1 you are telling uh, gender and favorite color are related. Next is step 2. You have to state alpha. Alpha is at what level of significance? 5% level of significance that is 0 0.05. Uh, you have to see in the chi-square value test table value. So next is step 3. In step 3 what you are seeing? You are seeing what? Calculating test statistic chi-square value. So what is the formula for calculating chi-square value? So this uh, symbol like x it is there. No it is not actually x it is a symbol for chi-square. In this way you have to put. So it is equal to summation. Summation of O minus E whole square divided by E. O is observed frequency value and E is expected frequency value. So how to calculate E? Column total into row total divided by grand total. So the formula for chi-square is summation of O minus E whole square divided by E. Okay. So here uh, let us uh, calculate the with the given data let us calculate what is O, what is E, what is O minus E whole square and E. Okay. So what is the given data? Boys blue color 100, green color 150, pink color 50. So uh, this, uh, this is your row. Okay. So this is your row. So you have how many rows? You have two rows and you have three columns. Two rows, three columns. So first what you have to do, boys and all. So row wise you add 100 plus 150, 250, 250 plus 50, 300. Girls also row wise you have to do 20 plus 30, 50, 50 plus 150, 200. Okay, so um, here 
column wise also you have to add 100 plus 120 120 150 plus 300 180 50 plus 150 200 so what you have to add all these things see 300 plus 200 is 500 120 plus 180 plus 200 120 plus 180 is 300 plus 200 is 500 so what is this 500 is your grand total 500 is your grand total so now you have to find out what is the formula chi square is equal to summation that is sigma o minus e whole square divided by e so now you have to find out first o value o value is nothing but the given value 100 150 50 20 30 150 see i have written the O value. O value is already O means the observed value is already given in the bracket in the sum itself. 100, 150, 50, 20, 30, 150. So you have calculated the O value as it is from the sum you can write it. 100, 150, 50, 20, 30, 50 you have one uh, sorry 150 you have written. So, for each observed value, what you have to find? You have to find out the expected frequency value. How you will be finding the expected frequency value? What is the formula for E? The formula for E is column total into row total divided by grand total. So, this is the formula for calculating expected frequency value. Let's see how to calculate this value. Okay, so for observed value 100, okay, for observed value 100, O is equal to 100. For observed value 100, what is the expected value E? Okay, E is equal to row total into column total divided by grand total. So, column total into row total divided by grand total. Okay, so what is your E? Column total into row total divided by grand total. What is your grand total? Grand total is 500. What is your column total? Column total 120. Um, row total 300 divided by 500. 120 into 300 divided by 500. See here 120 into 300 divided by 500. The answer is 72. So next value is what? 150. So you write that 72 here in the adjacent for 100 observed value. Your expected value is 72. Next is for 150 observed value. Your expected value is for observed value 150. Your expected value is again row total into column total divided by grand total so first we will see the column total what is the column total for 150 yes it is 180 row total 300 180 into 300 divided by 500 so here what 180 into 300 divided by 500 is equal to 108 108 108 what is the third one third one is 50 for observed value of 50, expected value E is 200 into 6, uh, 300 divided by 500. 500 is grand total. 200 is, yes, column total. 300 is row total. Let me show it with the tabular column. See, for observed value 50, what is the row column total? 200. What is the row total? 300. What is the grand total? Grand total is common for everything. That is 500. So, 200 into 300 divided by 500. So, the answer is 120. Next, for observed value 20, expected value is column total 120, row total 200 divided by 500 which is equal to 48. This also I will be showing you the table value. See, for observed value 20, column total 120, row total is 200, divided by 500, which is equal to 48. Next, for observed value 30, your column total 180, row total 200, divided by 500, which is equal to 72. I will show the tabular column. 
C for 30. What is the uh, uh, column total? 180. What is the row total? 200 divided by 500. 180 into 200 divided by 500. Next is for observed value 150. Um, expected value is 200 into 200 divided by 500. That is column total also 200. Row total is also 200 divided by 500. So it comes 80. See here for observed value 150. Yes. Row total 200. Column total 200. Grand total 500. Column total 200 into row total 200 divided by 500. So in this way you have to find out all the expected frequencies. So for 100 it is 72. For 150 it is 108. For 50 it is 120. For 20 it is 48. For 30 it is 72. For 150 it is 80. So you have written O value, E value. Next according to the formula what you have to find out? You have to find out O minus E. Then O minus E whole square. Then O minus E whole square divided by E. Finally, you have to add everything. So, let's see. First is what I have told. Yes, O minus E. 100 minus 72, 28. 150 minus 108, 42. 50 minus 120, minus 70. 20 minus 48, minus 28. 30 minus 72, minus 42. 150 minus 80, 70. Next, you have to do O minus E whole square. What is 28 square? 28 square is 784. 42 square, 1764. Minus 70 square, 4900. Minus 28 square, 784. For minus 42 square, 1764. 70 square, 4900. So here you have find out O minus E whole square. With all these values divide by E. O minus E square this value you have to divide it by E. 784 divided by 72 is 10.89. 1764 divided by 108 is 16.33. 4900 divided by 120 is 40.83. 784 divided by 48 is 16.33. 1764 divided by 72 is 24.50. 4900 divided by 80 is 61.25. So ton, uh, first one is what? 784 divided by 72 10.89. 1764 divided by 1080 16.33 4900 divided by 120 is 40.83 784 divided by 48 is 16.33 1764 divided by 72 is 24.50 4900 divided by 80 is 61.25 so add everything 10.89 plus 16.33 plus 40.83 plus 16.33 plus 24.50 plus 61.25. If you are adding the grand total what you are getting is 170.13. So this is your total. Now you have to substitute. Um, so no need to substitute. So you, this is your chi-square value. So your chi-square value is 170.13. Okay, so your calculated chi-square value is 170.13. Next to what you have to find out, you have to find out the degree of freedom. So the degree of freedom in chi-square is, uh, what is the degree of freedom? Rho minus 1 into column minus 1. So in step 3 we have calculated the chi-square test statistics. So the answer also we have got 170.13. So in step 4 what you have to do? Calculate the degree of freedom. What is the degree of freedom? Degree of freedom here is equal to row minus 1 into column minus 1. So here what is how many rows you have? 2 rows. How many columns you have? 3 columns. Let me show it once again. See the rows are boys, girls, 2 rows. Columns, blue, green, pink, three columns. Columns are nothing but vertical lines. Rows means horizontal. 
so you have to calculate a degree of freedom df means degrees of freedom degree of freedom rho minus 1 2 minus 1 into column minus 1 3 minus 1 degree of freedom 2 minus 1 is 1 column minus 1 3 minus 1 is 2 degree of freedom is equal to 2 then what next step state decision rule using chi square table value decision rule you have to take using chi square table value so chi square table value at what level of significance i have told yes 5% level of significance that is at 0 0.05 you have to see okay at 0 0.05 you have to uh, see your chi square level of significance so the at 0 0.05 level at the end of this uh, video i will be displaying the chi square table chart just to have a look at 0 0.05 level of significance your df degree of freedom at 2 df2 you have to see okay it is 5.99 but what is your calculated value your calculated chi square value is 170.13 but your table value so this is your chi square table value so your table value how much it is 5.99 so it is lesser okay uh, your calculated chi square value is more than your table value your calculated chi square value is more than your table value so here the calculated chi square value is 170.13 your table chi square value is 5.99 at uh, 2 degrees of freedom at 0 0.05 alpha level so calculated chi square value is more than the table value so what you have to do you have to reject null hypothesis and accept alternate hypothesis so you are rejecting the null hypothesis and you are accepting alternate hypothesis alternate hypothesis what you have framed okay for gender is related to favorite color you have given okay so there is a relationship between gender and your favorite color that is your alternate hypothesis which is accepted since calculated chi square value is more than the table chi square value you will be rejecting null hypothesis and you will be accepting alternate hypothesis so finally what we can say that there is a relationship between gender and favorite color in the same way you have to do for uh, other uh, calculations re with regard to chi square test hope this video is clear for you all if you still have any doubts feel uh, free to post your doubts in comment section as i have told earlier i, I have given the um, chi square value chart um, you can have a look into it if you still have any doubts, feel free to post your doubts in comment section. Thank you friends. Keep supporting to Science Easy Tech channel. My previous videos link I have given in description box, suggested end card and i card. Thank you friends.